Welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at analytical geometry. Before we answer the questions, you can pause the video, try and work out the solutions and see if we arrive at the same answers. So I've read this paragraph so you don't have to but you can pause the video and go through it. I've underlined the important points. So the first important point is that T is a midpoint of PQ. So this is PQ and T, this here is the midpoint and PQ is equals to QR, that's the second important information, note, noteworthy information. So PQ is equals to QR, the distances or the lengths of these line segments are the same so this distance here of this line segment from there to there is the same as this distance so the first question says calculate the length of pq leave your answer in set form so to answer this question to find the length of the line segment pq we need to use the distance formula so the distance formula can be written as follows the distance of line segment pq is equals to xq or xp minus xq to the whole squared plus yp minus yq to the whole squared Notice what I did with the subscripts. They correspond to the letters Q and P. So now we can substitute. So now we can substitute. So substitute XP. Um, a lot of times students are not careful with the substitution. So it's important that you substitute the correct coordinates in the correct places squared yp is 0 minus yq is 3 so this here gives us minus 5 the whole squared plus minus 3 the whole squared and this is equals to 25 so this gives us square root of 34 units so this is pq is equals to the square root of 34 units the second question wants us to calculate the gradient of pq so we can use the gradient formula so the gradient small letter m of pq i'm using the pq subscripts again yp minus yq over xp minus xq so it's just a matter of substitution yp is yp and xp respectively and this is yq and y xq respectively so we can just substitute yp0 minus yq is 3 and xp is 1 minus 6 so this is negative 3 over negative 5 which is 3 over 5 so therefore the gradient small letter m of pq is equals to positive 3 over 5 so the third question wants us to find the coordinates of t and as we've mentioned before t is the midpoint of this line segment pq so we can apply the midpoint formula so the midpoint formula is as follows x p plus x q over 2 and yp plus yq 
over 2. So we can just substitute the coordinates respectively. So there is 1 x piece 1 plus 6 over 2 and yp is 0 plus 3 over 2. So that should give us 7 over 2 and 3 over 2. And in a decimal format, it can be written as 3 and a half and 1 and a half. You can write the coordinates for the midpoint in fraction format or in decimal format. Right guys, so now they want us to calculate the area. So this question 2.2.1 calculate the area of triangle QTR so let's first identify the triangle QTR from the schematic given so QTR is this triangle so what I've done there is I've shaded the I've shaded the region for the area of triangle QTR and we know the standard formula for the area of a triangle um, is area is equals to half times base times perpendicular height. So from the triangle that we have, we can find the base because we have the total length from PQ, from P to Q. The total length is the square root of 34 units. And because the base is half, because this is a midpoint, it means the distance from T to Q is half the distance of PQ because T bisects this line segment into two. So this distance would then be half this, the distance half the total distance because if you put two halves together you get the full distance so we have the base so let's see the let's see what the perpendicular height is remember these two um, purple line segments are equal in length so if pq is square root of 34 and that would mean that QR is also th square root of 34 units. So we have all the relevant information. We have the perpendicular height for this triangle. And we have the base, which is half square root of 34. So now we can just substitute it all into the formula. So this is equals to half times the base. The base is half square root of 34 times square root of 34 so half and half is a quarter and 34 times square root of 34 and square root of 34 these two cancel each other out so we left with 34 so that should give us 8 comma 5 units squared because we're dealing with area so this here is equals to 8,5 units or squared units so the next question wants us to calculate the, the size of theta and provide reasons so let's identify where the angle theta is I'm going to use green this here is angle theta. They want the size of that angle. So by inspection, we're given the ex an exterior angle. If you can analyze the schematic, you will notice that these three lines, PS, QS, and PQ, form a triangle and this triangle is extends the line segment SV so this behaves 
this angle behaves like an exterior angle to this triangle. So we know by definition the exterior angle of a triangle of any given triangle is the sum of the opposite interior angles. So here we have the opposite interior angles 90 degrees and we have theta and we also have the exterior angle. So we can use that information to get theta. So to, uh, to answer the question, we can say the exterior angle is 101 degrees is equals to 90 degrees plus theta. And the reason is exterior angle of triangle. PQS, PQS. So therefore, theta, if you make theta the subject of the formula, you'll get 121 degrees minus 90, and this is 31 degrees. So theta is equal to 31 degrees exterior angle of a triangle is the reason so the last question wants us to calculate the coordinates of s so the question wants us to find these coordinates s so we know already that this year from what we can see by inspection, this triangle is a right triangle. Another important bit of information is we have this distance. We've worked it out to be square root of 34. We have angle theta to be 31 degrees. So with information given, we can actually work out this distance using trigonometric ratios so that we can figure out how how many units is this coordinate or i mean this point away from p so let's use um let's use trigonometric ratios so we can use cos theta because cos theta is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse which is the long hypotenuse is the longer side and the adjacent side is square root of 34 the hypotenuse is ps so therefore we can actually already substitute 30, 31 degrees in theta so therefore ps should be equals to square root of 34 over cos 31 degrees and this should give us, so if you divide square root of 34 by cos 31, you should get 6,8 units correct to one decimal place. So in other words, the distance from P to, Q to I mean the distance of line segment PS is 6,8 units. So the starting point for X here is 1. So if you add 6,8, it means that the x coordinate here will be 7,8 and s lies on the origin so the y coordinate is 0. So the coordinates of s are 7,8 and 0. Thank you so so much for watching.